Hello and welcome to the Stabila eCampus. Since 1889, we at Stabila have been developing and producing measuring tools of the highest quality for professional use. Today, my colleague Michael Haag and I present our LAR 350 and 300 rotating lasers. As rotating lasers are usually not used by private users, but only by professionals in construction, in this video we will not talk about what this type of laser is used for, but will concentrate on the equipment and the special features of these Stabila models. For the sake of simplicity, we will talk about the LAR350 in the following. The LAR300 is a is a variation of the LAR350. We will go into this at the end. Michael. There are a lot of rotating lasers on the market in different price ranges. Um, for whom is this model the right one? Let me sum it up like this. The LAR350 manufactured in our factory in Germany is ideal for those users who value extreme robustness, best values and a multitude of useful functions. For whom top performance is more important than price. Mm -hmm. I can already tell uh, this model is not the cheapest, Yeah, but it can do a lot. Definitely. And as it is often the case with good tools, uh, buying cheap is buying twice or three times or even more. Yeah. And the price must always be seen in relation to what I get for it and how efficiently I can work with it. Mm -hmm. This means that a more expensive device can pay for itself very quickly. Exactly. I'm convinced that anyone who watches this video or even better works with the laser will attest to this model's top price performance ratio. I think so too. And then let's get right into the equipment and performance of this laser. Tell me the top five arguments. Here they are. The first one is the superior working range with up to 800 meters or 2600 feet in diameter. Mm -hmm. Second one, the excellent operating time up to 80 hours. Extreme robustness and perfect protection thanks to IP65 protection class and the patented Stabila protector system made in Germany. Easy operation with our innovations motion control and LED assist, two axis tilt function and the section mode. Wow, that's quite a lot yeah. <laughs> and certainly not all. Um, let's go into order. Um, you mentioned 800 meter working range. Mm -hmm. uh, that is extremely much. Indeed. That means that you can detect the line in a radius of 400 meter or 1,300 feet around the laser with the enclosed receiver. Mm -hmm. In extreme cases, this means 800 meter or 2,600 feet from one point mm -hmm. to the other. That should be enough for most construction sites. More than. And this with a guaranteed accuracy over the complete temperature range of plus minus 0.1 millimeter per meter or one eighth inch at 100 feet. Mm -hmm. What temperature range are we talking about? A very wide one. In operation from minus 10 degrees to plus 60 mm -hmm. degrees Celsius and for storage from minus 20 degrees to plus 70 degrees Celsius. For our viewers from the US, in operation from 14 degrees to 140 degrees Fahrenheit mm -hmm. and for storage from minus 4 degrees to 158 degrees Fahrenheit. Wow, that's a lot. Indeed, a large range. And an interesting point, um, at Stabella we attach great importance to keep promised values. Yeah. Uh, there are many lasers on the market where I wouldn't put my hand in the fire for the uh, leached accuracy. Um, or if you look closely, there are countless exceptions listed in the small print uh, on, in the operating uh, instruction. Unfortunately, that is really often the case, but not with us. Uh, good. So, extremely long range with high accuracy, but still no high power consumption. Exactly. The laser is really extremely economical. With two D 1.5 watt batteries, it has an operating time up to 80 hours. And if that is not enough, the laser can be also equipped with the separately available lithium ion battery unit, mm -hmm. AE LAR 350. The nice thing is that you can operate the laser 
even while it is charging. Wow. Uh, excellent. You mentioned the extreme robustness and perfect protection as another top feature. Mm -hmm. um, what can you tell us about this? The device itself is waterproof and dustproof according to protection class IP65. This means that you can operate the laser in bad weather, even continuous rain does not bother it. Mm -hmm. Just as little as dust, which is even more common on a construction site than rain in the end. Mm -hmm. Protection glass IP65 is very high. Uh, if you look around on the market, many lasers often have lower protection classes. Exactly. Uh, the reason is it's much easier and cheaper to produce if you have mm. a lower protection class, but for sure it's not as safe. Mm. Yeah. And you mentioned the Stabila protector system. Yeah. Uh, what is behind it? This system, patented by the way, mm -hmm. protects the laser in case of falls. A shock absorbing jacket protects the housing from damage. Mm -hmm. You can see that very well here. Everything that is black mm -hmm. uh, belongs to the Stabila Protector system. The special foam grips, oh, grips yep. very well and is elastic. Yeah, mm -hmm. and protects the laser in case of falls with a tripod up to a height of 1.8 meter or more than 5 mm. feet under normal construction site conditions. Oh. Nice. Absolutely no problem. <laughs> Bouncing yeah. back. And it can happen very quickly. Someone accidentally trips over the tripod or a colleague turns around with the ladder and it happens. Yeah, and if the laser is broken after a fall or has to be calibrated, that's not only high costs, but also lost mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. This means that already with one fall, which would lead to repair or total failure, with other lasers, the slightly higher price of the LAR350 pays off. That's right. At this point, I would like to mention that we actually built this laser here in Germany, in our factory in Anweiler. Laser measuring devices made in Germany are something very rare these days. But in this case, absolutely justified, because we offer a top model here. Mm -hmm. The next argument in favor of this laser, the simple operation, thanks to our innovations motion control and LED assist. What's behind it? Let's grab the motion control itself. So with the motion control, you can control the laser quickly, safely and conveniently. Mm -hmm. This is because a motion sensor is built into the remote control. This allows you to control important functions easily and intu intuitively by turning the remote control to the right mm -hmm. or to the left at a distance of up to 20 meters from the laser. Mm -hmm. Uh, proverbially with a twist. <laughs> exactly. I can speed up, for example, or slow down the rotation speed here with this button in the middle mm -hmm. just by pressing it and then turning it right or left. Mm -hmm. Then I have a standing dot or I can set the length of the line here. That's this button over here. Mm -hmm. And also its position with this button here at the mm -hmm. top. This is the so-called scan mode in the mm -hmm. end. Or I can adjust the inclination of the laser axis or, in vertical mode, swivel the laser line in exactly. Good keyword. It is, as we see, a two-axis laser. Exactly. I have a y-axis and an x-axis. I can adjust these independently of each other mm -hmm. up to an inclination of 5 degrees. Okay. With conventional rotating lasers, however, I have the problem that I can't see exactly which axis I'm adjusting at the moment, which one I've already adjusted or which one I haven't adjusted. And that's where another innovation from us comes into play, the LED assist system. Let's just turn on the laser that we can see it. So colored LEDs are built into the top of the housing. These allow the laser to be monitored visually from a distance. When using the tilt function, for example, the LEDs shows which axis is inclined. As you can see, uh, just do it, we are now adjusting the x-axis. Mm -hmm. This is indicated by the blue flashing LEDs. Mm -hmm. And if we now adjust the y-axis, the ah. green LEDs flash. Nice. So I have in the end a clear assignment. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, I'm also notified when the laser has experienced a movement and there is a risk of incorrect measurements as a result. Then the laser stops directly and the white LEDs draw attention to this. May I? 
Sure. As you can see now, yeah. the LEDs are flashing all, so they show, hey, something happened to the laser, uh, please look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, a, like in the disco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can see it from a long distance. Yeah, exactly. That's important. exactly. Okay. And with that, I can check then the leveling and put the laser back into operation. In mm. addition, the LED assist also shows the battery and the temperature status. Mm. To sum it up, thanks to LED assist, I have easier operation, increased work safety and time savings. Mm -hmm. Among the numerous functions, you highlighted one in particular, um, the section mode. What is behind the section mode? With the section mode, I can clearly limit the working area in rotation mode. The laser beam is then only emitted in a defined area. Mm -hmm. This way, when using two or more rotation lasers, I can avoid them influencing each other, avoid not having a clear assignment, and I do not unintentionally blind third parties, e.g. when working next to a kindergarten or something mm. like that. Mm. Uh, that's uh, interesting. I already saw this uh, on construction side that uh, I've seen lasers where there was just uh, they were ch uh, masked off with adhesive tape <laughs> or something like this. So yeah, yeah. this is the technical better solution. That's right, than absolutely. Adhesive yeah. tape. Yeah. Okay. Then let's take a closer look at other features of the laser. Sure, sure. Let's switch it on and off again that we see it rotating. I have here in detail a plumb line above in 90 degree to the plane of rotation. Mm -hmm. Then the rotation head itself, as you can see it now also rotating. Mm -hmm. Then the buttons for on, off and tilt mm -hmm. and the manual mode. Mm -hmm. Manual mode means? That the laser level is aligned manually in the end. The self-leveling and re-leveling are then not activated. This is helpful when you need an inclination that goes beyond the five degrees range mm -hmm. of the laser. Mm -hmm. So just to show it to you, mm -hmm. if we press the man button, and then you just can incline it ah. and it will not re-level or self-level. Not go into a tilt mode. Or exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Then additionally, I have locator markings at the top. They make mm -hmm. it very easy for me to align the laser with the axis. So that means mm -hmm. we have the x-axis and the y-axis. Mm -hmm. And with these marks, you can perfectly align the laser to the axis itself. Nice. It also reads y and x here. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Yeah. And at the bottom, I will just turn the laser to the side that we can see it. We have also the markings for the plumb line. Mm -hmm. So if you mark all the four marks on the side, you know where the middle of the plumb line in the end is. Mm -hmm. In addition, we have here in front the holder for the remote control, so that you have the remote control with you every time. And then there is the tripod connection thread 5 8 inch at the bottom. Mm -hmm. I can use the laser with that in the horizontal mode. Yeah. Um, if I want to use it in the vertical mode? That's no problem. Uh, you just have to use the included 90 degree angle rail. All right, good. A rotating laser only makes sense um, in combination with a receiver, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which um, then accurately detects the laser line over long distances. In this case, uh, it comes with the Rack 300 Digital, um, which is available and comes with the LAR 350. What is special about the receiver? Yeah, we just grab it because we already have it here. Mm -hmm. The Rack 300 Digital is an extremely robust, very precise and compact receiver. It even has protection class IP67 mm -hmm. and is therefore waterproof and dustproof. Yes. In addition to the main display here in the front, it has an extremely practical second display on the back. This is very convenient because you don't have to keep straining your neck when detecting the laser. Uh, normally the laser is somewhere there. Yeah. I come with the rod and the receiver mm -hmm. and otherwise I would have to turn my neck and here I have the second display. Exactly. Very practical. And it's a digital receiver. That means it doesn't just show me if I'm too high or too low. Exactly. It also shows how many millimeters are missing from the reference deviation in the mm. end. Of course, that makes it uh, even more convenient to use. Uh, what else does the REC 300 offer? I can select the accuracy level, set the volume and the unit of measurement. In mm -hmm. addition, I also have a large 80 millimeter high laser reception window. Wow. 
So I would say LAR 350 with Rec 300 Digital, a dream duo. You said it. Okay. Finally, let's take a closer look at the scope of delivery. Okay, let's do it. I have here the robust hard shell carrying case in which I can store the laser and all the accessories comfortably and safely. Mm -hmm. Let's remove the bend roll that we can take a closer look inside. Okay, so this is what you see in the shop. Yep. Normally you don't have it anymore when you are on the construction site. Okay, so Ta -da. and here we are. <laughs> At first for sure, of course, the LAR350 laser itself. Then we have, as we already heard, the REC 300 digital receiver. Mm -hmm. We have here at the top of the laser the remote control. Then we have what we mentioned before to use it vertically on a tripod, the mm -hmm. 90 degree angle rail, mm -hmm. a pair of laser goggles. Mm -hmm. It's important to say it's laser goggles, it's not safety goggles. Mm -hmm. So this is to make the beam even more visible, not to protect the eyes from the laser itself. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't look into the laser beam directly. Definitely, yeah. yeah. Then we have here the target blade uh, to make the beam itself, for example, indoor more visible that mm. you can also see it without a detector on higher ranges. Mm -hmm. We have here the 2D 1.5 watt batteries for the laser itself, two AA batteries for the receiver, mm -hmm. and two for the remote control. All right, everything in it. Very practical. This is our seven piece set, but we also have a nine piece set. Yeah. Where's the difference? The difference is that additionally includes our high quality and robust BSTS construction tripod and the NL leveling rod. Oh, perfect. With that, you are optimally equipped for leveling tasks on the construction site. Michael, as announced, some few words about the LAR300. Yeah, sure. The difference to the LAR350 is that the LAR300 itself can only be operated horizontally and no inclination can be set. Mm -hmm. It is therefore a so-called horizontal laser. Many users only need a laser reference line that rotates horizontally. For those, the LAR300 is the ideal device. Mm -hmm. I have the high robustness, but a super simple one-button operation without remote control. Nice. Thank you. Michael, for your explanations. As always, it was a pleasure. For me too. <laughs> so, dear viewers, I hope we have been able to make you curious and convey to you the many advantages of our rotating lasers made in Germany. If you value the highest quality, reliability, robustness, application benefits and convenient handling, for your leveling tasks, then you should definitely take a closer look at the Stabila 2-axis rotating laser LAR350 or, depending on the application, the horizontal laser LAR300. We look forward to your comments and questions. You can also find more interesting videos on the subject of measuring tools on our Stabila official YouTube channel in the eCampus playlist. Why don't you take a look? Thank you and good luck in everything you tackle.